Next question is from Chris Weister. Should creatine be taking pre or post workout? Oh, good old creatine. The best ergogenic supplement you could probably take besides, uh, you know, making sure you get the nutrients that you need and protein. There's a little research around this as far as yeah. it uh, being right, but it's like splitting hair. Yeah, it's a right? small difference, but post-workout. Yeah. Post-workout, you they do show that your body is primed to uptake and utilize more of this creatine to turn into ATP. Uh, that being said, you're, good point. It really doesn't make a huge difference. We're splitting hairs in terms of, you know, if it's in the morning or before mm -hmm. workout or after workout. You know what makes it more of a difference is what you take with your creatine. So we've, we've known this for a while, that if you take creatine with a lot of insulin stimulating sugar, we'll see, we'll see increases in creatine. So back in the day when creatine really became a big thing, mm -hmm. it was really the first supplement that actually did something. So when, when it came out in the 90s, it took over and I would say single-handedly uh, transformed the supplement industry into what it is now. It, it was creatine came out and it worked and it was crazy and everybody's like, oh my God. And when they saw that sugar increase the uptake, you, you had these products with like Celtec with like 72 grams of, of, uh, of dextrose. And it, and it does increase creatine uptake, but who wants to drink 70 grams of sugar? It would make me nauseous. And it's probably not great if you don't want to gain lots of body fat and all that stuff, but it does help. But here's some better ones, right? You could do alpha lipoic acid uh, will increase creatine's uptake with a little bit of carbohydrates. So if you have a post-workout meal with carbohydrates, like let's say you have some white rice or something like that, you could do uh, alpha lipoic acid. And then here's another one for people who are afraid of extra calories or don't want extra calories with the creatine, sodium. Mm. Sodium <clears throat> will increase the uptake of oh, really? the creatine. I have yet to mix it with my element T. That's how I do it. Oh, wow. That's exactly how I do it. And I so, didn't know that. Yeah, so hmm. it increases the uptake of, hmm. of creatine. But here's how creatine works, right? You, you take it and you build up your stores of ATP over time. You can make that happen a little faster by doing doing what's called loading, where you take like 20 grams of creatine for five days, then go on five grams. It does speed that process up. I think it's a waste of creatine, but if you want to make it happen a couple days faster, that's fine. But once you top out those ATP stores, then what you're doing is you're just supplementing to make sure that they stay topped out. There's a point at which you can't necessarily get any right, more. Get any more benefits anymore. So it doesn't make a huge, you know, difference. Uh, that being said, I still take it, you know, post workout, uh, and I'll take it with LMNT, which has got the sodium. Maybe I'll throw some alpha lipoic acid in there, um, and then eat my post workout. Was meal. there any truth? Remember when they used to say that it, you don't want to take it with orange juice because the citric acid did something? Oh well, you know it, it can make it unstable if you mix it in something and leave it there for a while. Yeah, if you mix it in orange, they'd say don't. Like I remember, I remember my my cell tech. I remember reading that or saying like you know don't mix it with. I believe some of it converts to a form that isn't very usable. Might not actually be good for you, but yeah. I just. Just take it. Just take it in the mouth. Wash it down. I normally just do it with water. I mean, I normally splash it the the non flavored stuff that we have and just shoot it real quick. But now that I know the, about the sodium, I mean, I, I'm drinking element tea anyways. I may as well do that. I didn't realize that. It says it prevents it from being absorbed effectively with six drag. The other one's caffeine. They say that caffeine uh, can reduce its uh, its absorption. But again, if now that's you, uh, that's interesting because you have companies like Bang who have paired their bang energy drink with creatine. I know. Oh, that's funny. But that honestly, is. it's like once you're once you've got those levels topped out, it really doesn't make a huge difference, you know? And it's one of those supplements that we now are finding, and I've said I'm going to say this again. I've said it so many times. It is a it, soon to be health and wellness supplement promoted and advertised to everybody because mm. we're seeing benefits for cognition, heart health, uh, it's got antioxidant properties. It's good for other tissues other than just muscle. I bet you're going to see kids start to take it. They're already putting it in those like meal replacements for the elderly. So, you know, like the little drinks that they'll give like insure and stuff for right. the elderly. They're already throwing creatine in that because it's helping with muscle loss and it's helping with balance and strength. So it's, it's one of those supplements that is going to be it's just going to grow in terms of its usage. Yeah, for me, I, I, I noticed too. Like, so I, it actually like upsets my stomach a bit when I when I take it without any kind of food to go with it. So that that was something I had to kind of work through. But I know a lot. There's some feedback with that that it it, it you know upsets certain people's it can. stomachs. Some yeah. people don't don't can't take creatine because it upsets their stomach. 
And some people are what are called, I guess, non-responders. I thought you were going to say pussies. And I was like, no. hey, <laughs> hey now. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, for most people, you're going to see benefit. And you could take a smaller dose. You could do, you know, two grams or whatever a day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I try to give it to my parents. I try to give it to grandparents and family members um, to help with all that, you know, cognitive. Yeah, the cognitive effects and all that. It's, it's yeah, it, oh, it it's, works. It's a healthy supplement. The only people that probably shouldn't take it are people who have uh, actual, like, organ issues, like kidney issues and stuff like that, in which case you'd want to consult with your doctor. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.